somebody mentioned to me yesterday issues that you know after i mentioned him the situation with the shoes how the shoes are cut and the entire situation as it is that i am under pressure without doubt you are you are stressed basically in that sense uh under stress i should say because pressure i am under pressure i am i have to do a lot of things but under stress i am not i have to tell you under stress i'm not even a little bit it might sound unusual for the individual to be in a situation like this in which i have in fact outperformed u.s navy seals locals people that were evaluated at this location here what one would have to go through to get certain impression about however these are all the people that have money you know it makes a whole lot of difference whether you go to the delicatess to like a beautiful store by yourself uh, like really meat good is like sweets homes you know top of the line sweets like americans you know they would just pull the money out and would get that money exchanged and then what they would do is i would go with them like to like stores i can only see from far away i cannot even come close anywhere to those stores where these guys were buying the food and that's a good one because i can point out exactly what stores were here uh, also where americans will buy themselves so goodies that's supposed to go through the same process that i did it's a crazy stuff for one thing and second thing is when you're not present all the time when you don't go through the whole thing but you just go through the portions of it how the hell are you going to evaluate what i have gone through throughout the nine month period I mean. and like i said at age 47 i have outperformed them all physically and mentally no pressure no no stress here whatsoever zero stress the only stress that is related to is the stress that is related to in my in my head to solutions basically to find the, the optimal solution to a situation not to a problems but to situation at this point i cannot even go to the police and demonstrate the stuff let's say because i'll get transferred from here as much as i would want to and as much as i have all these proofs and i cannot do it because if i do bye bye this place here and i don't really want to go from here ever i want to stay here so the only thing this would do would create problems so under pressure zero somebody want to suggest that hypertension or stuff like this are related to stress and so on i gotta tell you i got none one thing is to suffer high pressure like physical hypertension and stuff like this being exposed to um at times to hunger to uh, you know extended amount of travel with um, with a luggage with with backpack loaded and so on this is but you know this is just part of my life this is just part of me always was was intangible part of me like i said i am not an ordinary man you know this is how these situations should be evaluated and under no circumstances in respect to the Polish immigration should be yogurts, milk, changed for the cigarettes and stuff like that. They insist me like how the cigarettes, how terrible it is, the cigarettes, that they don't have the money for the cigarettes. There's a guy inside of the room, he blew 70 zloty within like a week on a cigarettes and crap. Then he would like me to treat him with a coffee, free coffee and this and that. I am the one who have treated these people with the coffee. I was the one who gave them tea to this Belarus, to the Russian guy over there. They stole it from me. I gave them coffee. I gave them goodies. They didn't give me shit out of the problem in return. When you're in a situation like this, you're going to meet people like... People like Russian people, Belarusian people, and you're gonna, you're gonna think, you're gonna say not everybody is like this. But with this, the people that you're gonna meet inside of the system like this, in this situation, everybody is like this. Not outside, but inside the system, yes. So this is also stuff I gotta clarify. Yogurts, milk. This is not the stuff that should be replaced by the cigarettes. 
because it was enormous pressure. Look, people from Belarus protest and stuff from Russia that there is no that in Poland is bad political asylum procedure. This is crazy. You should see one how it looks like I tested one in Belarus. And then would want to use my example of shit they have done to me basically to squeeze more money from the Polish immigration system, like for the cigarettes and crap like that. So that they can cause damage within inside within within Polish immigration system to legitimate uh asylum applicants and in the germany they give i don't know how much money and in a france is what i hear and stuff like that um polish immigration system is this designed for the human being there is nothing anybody can say about it nothing absolutely nothing anybody can say about it it's exactly what you should get nothing more and nothing less now the question however is the biggest one is who gets entitled to this political asylum procedure on who does not even get the right to file for political asylum as my case was now here over nine months and a half uh, in a situation like this now these are a different situation Ukrainian people in the same situation same category as myself but not when it comes to Russians Bel uh, Belarus kids uh, and so on and so forth that I have not seen so far not a single person that would be like legitimate political asylum applicant in Poland. Now that's a completely different story. That much about uh, political asylum conditions and so on inside of the within Polish immigration system. Thanks for watching this video. Why there will be a hole here and here, uh, I do not know. Um, I am quite suspicious about this. You can see this is properly carved also. This is not that because it's a charger that uh, it would puncture. This thing is cut properly, very, very properly through the thick couvert. You can see that uh, it is still sealed, supposedly. We're gonna see this thing here. Supposedly, this thing never ever was open. No, that's basically how it looks like. It's very important for me to identify the way it looks. Um, now, the way it feels, I'm gonna tell you. Let me see this. Uh, let's see both sides. Um, it looks to me as if this thing already was open because I see here on the side that uh, I see that this thing was glued. Uh, let me see if I can catch this for you. It's like you would already tear this stuff out, which I do not see why anybody would go and do that stuff. But let's go and see how difficult or easy this thing is to open. Uh, what you see right now, it's not a difficult thing to do. This thing can be easily uh, done like this. I am not. But hold on a moment. This is pretty well sealed right here. I want to see this thing here. Um, yeah, let me see this thing here. Reopen tape, reopen tape. Okay, so this, this means this thing was reopened. Because it says right here, reopen tape, I think. So, I'm not sure, but to me this doesn't look like this thing was, um, you know, intact. Now, when I see this thing here, for me personally, this thing is old, this thing is used. Uh, it does not look new. I can see this thing was in use. It's all scratched, hammered, uh, and in fact... It kind of looks like the other one I have sent. Uh, I had a problem with under MK Ultra. They have actually, and this is what I have noticed, that the broken adapters which I have placed them inside of the bag, 
uh, inside of the bag at the center it's where I leave the broken things disappeared afterwards uh, why would the broken adapters disappear if not for someone to repair them and under MK Ultra they suggested that it's what they're gonna do how they're gonna screw me up they're gonna eventually go and repair them and place them back in the coverts. this is a very very possible scenario I have no idea what I was placing online I have no idea what exactly I was placing online the photos and stuff like this the videos of adapters how they look like uh, however I do know that uh, that eventually was the possibility whether they have used this possibility or not I do not know this is what this looks like it's basically is exactly what this thing looks like uh, to me personally let's see if I can demonstrate this does not look new this is scratched big time it was open you can see it on the side there is like a crack you can see you can still see it right there in the middle and I wonder if you can see scratches like I see them uh, a lot of scratches I see everywhere this is definitely definitely not new uh, let's see if I can show you this side here uh, at best this thing is reconditioned uh, but even greater possibility exists this thing was already opened the tape alone suggests reopen reopen tape what the hell is that thing from where is this all about where is who did this why would the packages come like this that's not really the way it should be um let me just see if you can if i can demonstrate this in a better performance because the light is very very poor and Let me see this thing here. Yes, you can see it on the side that this thing was, this is not new. You can clearly see it. It is scratched. You cannot see it as clearly as I do, but you can see it scratched. And on the other side, the same thing and I have not even opened yet this whole thing I am getting tired of this I am becoming really really exhausted from obtaining nothing the way it works in a normal world uh, I am becoming tired of getting things destroyed before they even get into my hands as purchased through the internet basically the same stuff that went on in Slovenia uh, that was even more severe and yeah, this thing is like this is like what the hell is this thing here now when I see it okay I gotta make sure that I don't put anything away from the camera that this hand of mine is on the camera all the time okay so it's not gonna somebody be saying it look at this i mean what is this thing was like in a second world war or something like this let me see you see the you see what this is what is this thing here what have they given me this thing reopen like who did open this by the way There you go. So this is all this is all messed up. Yeah. Look at that. That's that's not even. Let me see. That's not even even. If you look at the 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 edges right there. If you look at the the edge. This edge right here. Look at the corner. What it looks like. Look at that what the hell is this thing i have not seen anything like this yet as a charger as far as charger and this thing ladies and gentlemen this is supposed to be new this is supposed to these are new items that were delivered to me so that's why i like that stuff like this uh not to fail to mention that the same day when i got this from the office hassan ran with knife behind me 
he was trying to catch me with a knife and was stabbing the doors with a knife and stuff like that. So they are using the stuff like this to, you know, relate one another to the nerve individual so he would not even check and see uh, basically what's going on, what is what is going on. The whole thing, if you look at this thing here, look at that. It's, it's all scratch. Look at this. Look at this thing here. This is all scratched. Let's see this one more time if you can see it. The whole adapter, this is like... Where have they got this thing from? Yeah. Uh, where the problem is, the problem is when an electric current is circling around, uh, when they open these things and they change inside stuff, what happens is uh, it will burn the adapter. A few times they do the stuff like this, they play with electricity up and down, and the only thing that it does is boom, that's it. One blew literally inside in my hands when, when I plugged one inside the electricity. Even that I have experienced. This is where the problem is. I see a librarian. She is loud because I made a mistake today. Um, today really is Thursday. It's not Wednesday. And I was here at 8 o'clock thinking it's Wednesday. Uh, it's not easy under circumstances like this to run from knives, attacks, and, you know, being pressurized with whatever they are playing with. This hypertension and stuff, and stuff that everything is destroyed. This is really crazy stuff. All right. That's all. This is yet... Today, library open at 11 o'clock, not 8 o'clock. Uh, but this is the first mistake I have done. She have made a million mistakes. I have no idea what she's so loud about. All right, that's all that's going to do for this video. Cześć, Mario. Dzień dobry. Jak tam? Jak się masz, Mariusz? A ty teraz mówisz w jakim języku? Znaczy się masz to tak bardziej? Ja uczyłem japoński. Ale nie, ale kak, a kak to jest w jakim? To znaczy w rosyjskim czy w twoim ojczystym? Nie, <laughs> A co ty mnie znalazłeś tu? No, tak się tak no. no a to nie na polski jak się masz i co jest? Co słuchasz? Jest głód? Może być co słuchasz? Nie, nie, chodzi tylko... To jest w twoim czy ty, ty w rosyjskim? Kak, bo kak jest rosyjskim. Ma czy... co ważne. Ja ja... Twoim twój język ojczysty... Słowenski język. Jest bardziej... Nie wiem, no tak... Mało chyba mówisz, no jak jest tam, jak się masz po słowie? Kokosikaj. Kokosikaj, tak? tak. Kokosikaj, jak się masz? No, tak inaczej, A co tak na bardziej... polskie, nie? Na polskie jak się nie, masz? Jest... Jak się masz? Bardziej tak w słowacki, w czeski. Tak, słowacki, słowackunski, czeski, tak. tak bardziej niż polski, rosyjski, to bardziej taki miękki jest. Co? E... Język taki miękki, nie? bo polski jest taki twardy język, taki ostry jest. Jak ostry język? To polski jest. Nie, 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 nie. Um, 
Polski język zapadł na słowacki język jest jak słowacki język jest. Tak. No Slovenia, Slovakia to było przed jedny rząd był to. Właśnie dlaczego jest Słowenia i Słowacja? No a co Ungrycy to rozbili. Tak? Oni rozbili u dwa rządy na słowenski i na słowaczki tak. Yeah, this looks like this thing was open, eh? Yeah, 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 yeah. It looks like already was open. This thing was definitely open, eh? It can be seen from the top. Not new at all. Not new at all. Not new at all. It is a big ass crack on the side indicating clearly this thing was open already. Okay now let's let's do something. Eh? gonna see immediately this thing here oh, let's see Clearly, clearly, clearly open. This thing was open. Clearly, this is not what the new adopters look like. Let's see this.
not easy to catch. This is damaged already. It's damaged. I can see it. And so it's very questionable. Yeah, this is very, very questionable. Totally, totally questionable. Hey, let me see that. That side is okay. That's why also it traveled so long. It traveled very, very long, unusually long. Okay, you go. Aye, aye. Ah. This is just what I got from, I should say, through Allegro. And this is a whole big story behind this thing. It's a power bank. Uh, to have a feel behind the package, it looks like it's sealed properly. This thing most likely was not opened. Let me see, or might have been too. I see that. Mm, if it was, it was repacked. Uh, it does look, it really looks good. Package feels right. Got to say that. Not that I would notice some kind of a punctures here. Be noticeable. The two punctures. Another one here. Let's see some more. Uh, but this probably was due to package or whatever. That was used on it. So open this thing here. What? Uh -huh. Before we do that stuff, let's do this. I wouldn't be doing this, and I'm doing this in a public place. This is a damn shame that I have to do the stuff I got. Things have gone as far as this, but you know, I guess that there's no choice. It looks like a well-packed, uh, well-packed again, get this thing here. Now, the question, however, remains, the biggest question remains, on this thing here. On the first view like this, I can say that this thing already was open. This was absolutely opened. You can see it on the sides. You can see it right here that somebody already had fingers in the, on this thing here, on both sides. But, okay, let's have a closer look. It came with all sorts of cables like this, like with a small little package included, which is really handy, nice. That's basically what this is. Let's 
built and see exactly what is in here and what might be missing or whatever. Okay, so that's that. And the power bank. It looks cute. I get it. Now let me have a feel about this thing here to see whether this thing is new. As much as I would love to say it's new, this thing is not new. I see here the traces of something like a dirt. I can see that stuff. Uh, these already are signs that this thing definitely is not new. On the sides I can also see some more dirt right here. And I can see like bumps here like this back and forth. Uh, so this thing is questionable to I don't know what to make out of one, uh, but some bigger damage is some kind of any, you know, that I would say cracks or something like this. I do not notice anything like that, so I guess it's gonna have to be tried out. But that this would be new somehow. I don't know, somehow I cannot buy this, but, you know, probably reconditioned, I would say, but that's why it's cheap, so as long as it's working for as much as I'm going to need, it should be more than okay. That's basically that, but yeah, the whole story behind this. Clearly was open already. Clearly open. Way before it got in my hands, this thing was open already. Oh. It's probably remanufactured or something like this. This is not new at all. No way this thing is new. Yeah, it's it's actually bent like this. Uh, absolutely, absolutely not new. On one side like this, on another side like that. So, let's open it up 
and let's see what this looks on the inside Huh? So this is like big time damaged, big time damaged, open already, reconditioned, rebuilt. This is not new. This thing here absolutely, absolutely is not new. What the hell is this thing? I, I didn't buy this, I bought brand new not this here okay so that's a question so we got the same situation eh huh Tomorrow, what we're gonna do is we're gonna ask for a refund for this thing here. That's about it. I am not buying stuff like this. Sorry about that. I bought brand new. I didn't buy this. I didn't pay for the stuff like that. Oh, the question also is a postal service. This is very questionable. The question is if this thing was not even opened before by somebody and so on and so forth. Oh, oh we're going to find out. Okay, let's go see. This basically is what we have here, like this, looks like this. Uh, this is SD card most likely, look at the date, they received this thing on at 23rd, that was yesterday. Um, the way it looks back, this is a SD card, 64 gigabytes. <laughs> but this is something I was told definitely the SD cards are going to be opened and screwed up before you're even going to get them in the hands. Uh, the package traveled for no less than 9 days here, 8 days to be exact, and 15 was deposited about 300 kilometers from here. And it was 
no. Definitely with a, as far as the postal stuff where I got it right now, definitely sealed is, you know. Now let's go see it. Let's go see it. Not opened anywhere, anything like this. I don't know what else is inside of that package, but the main thing is this one here. And I can tell you this already is suspicious from far away. From far away it is suspicious. Um, just look at this thing here. I hope you can see it. This thing's here. This is scratched. And we gotta find out why is it scratched like this. Let's see this. Uh, what it looks like, basically. Now, let's see this thing here. Yeah. Um, as you open this thing, you would not open one through here, basically. Now, let me just see the this thing was like 100% open in my opinion already before I even go into it because it's like look at look at look how this thing looks like a now let's go and we gotta go and I'm gonna open it's like this it's it's basically already opened like this it's nothing I mean look at look at this thing here this the way this thing is packed um this thing was absolutely opened it was opened on this side here like this it was opened as you have seen and it's still sealed on this side here and so that's why i traveled so long you can see really it's sealed on this side it's sealed on this side here these are the two sides it's sealed but on this side here you can clearly see it was opened not a new thing absolutely not a new thing we just got to find out look at that you don't have to bother anything look at this it's exactly as i was told the case is going to be let me see this thing here um i don't even know if this thing should be glued or something to this but you can see this thing is not glued you can just remove the whole card like this the whole card with adapter is going to come out just like this so this is this is again just as I was told the case is gonna be. Um, now I'm gonna pay attention to the way this thing looks like. Um, I'm gonna put it this way: when you have this kind of situation like this, when a situation is like this, there's no f and doubt that this thing is not gonna work. Because why this thing is not gonna work? Why? Because they sell millions of cards like this. These are like low-end cards. It's like a low-end cards, and um, basically, when you basically when you uh, when you have the stuff like this opened already, who the fuck is gonna go? Excuse me, in my impression. But who the hell is gonna go out there and open like a low end, low end SD cards? Who the hell would want to go and repair low end SD cards? I wouldn't say this would be like a Samsung or SanDisk or something like this, but this is not Samsung or SanDisk or anything like this. This is a low end uh, purchased through Allegro from the seller that sells like large amount of stuff of these cards, particular. I did not buy from like people that would sell like few things, but people that would sell like on a large on a multitude. And I can tell you that uh, see it yourself. I don't know how much you can see it. The main thing is here. I don't really care so much about adapter. 
and this is the thing I want to inspect um, like a million percent guaranteed this thing is definitely not a new thing uh, maybe actually the the edges you can see that this thing was already in use not a new thing so yeah there isn't much to add to this well it's also scratched on this side you can see it try to demonstrate this I'm not surprised this thing traveled for so long uh, it does make sense uh, look at the card look what it looks like if it's somebody would bitten up one uh, it's it's not surprising it's not surprising it traveled so long um, yeah there isn't much else to say um, adapter of course it's important but not as much as SD card uh, everything is important because you pay for it but not as much as SD card but look look what it what it looks like already is it supposed to be as a new one Ah, uh, whatever. All right, that's that. Um, what I can do is I can also look what it looks like on the inside of this package. What is inside here? This is this is what this is, and you got a price over there for the card. And this was all together like 20 zloty and this is seller that sells a lot just like others I have buy from these are not like some kind of reclusive sellers but you know this is just the case all right Okay, my friends, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna see what Mr. Mailman have delivered to me from Bellystock, what was given to me after nine days through the Polish mail services, famous. This is what I got, look. It took no less than 26 minutes to get the files transferred, and the files that were transferred look in a form as this one here. This is the new SD card, Polish card. See what this is? Basically nothing really functions because the card is screwed up. This is what was given to me. See what this is? You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, uh -huh. I don't know, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 files that do not work at all. Look at this. You see what this is? <laughs> so this is this is the new card we got now. There is no doubt that this is one hell of a quality, as you see, of a card. Out of... 1.2 gigabytes there is about 55 megabytes that actually would work that you could see that you could use as a as a backup okay, card something like this um, nine days wait pay 20 zloty and you got exactly what you see here that's the final result
And there was a severe attempt over there, the mail office is also to bully, to intimidate, to, um, you know, get in arguments and stuff like that. Okay, so that's pretty much what you get here. This is how that's done. Sad, reality sad, sure. Uh, by the way, adapter itself doesn't work. Uh, I had a problem using that adapter. I could not even, uh, I could not even connect one to a computer here. No, this is just, this is crazy. Too much, um, too sophisticated. Let the people decide what this is. First, I'm going to tell you what I have learned from it. What I have learned from it is that it is easier to push a delete button than to video record. And I say this because the main video about the packages, delivery packages, is not here. Most likely it was deleted for eternity, gone, bye-bye. Uh, so far over 150 gigabytes of data was deleted to me. About 100 at least gigabytes is missing from my hard drive. And that was done by the lady who called herself a psycho bitch here in Grotniki, works at the library. The rest of it was deleted inside of the center. I have learned from it that it is easier to use the knife and cut uh, than to saw things, to repair them. This is way easier to use the knife and just go and cut things. I have learned that it is easier to crush things, destroy things, than to pay for them order them through the internet, wait for them to get delivered. And by the way, when we are about the delivery, I have no idea what's going on because this last package that was delivered to me from by the postal services of Poland traveled no less than nine days from eastern part of Poland to here, to this place, this is no more than 300 kilometers during which there was no tracing or anything provided by the postal services of Poland. How is this possible? How would it have been possible when that was paid for so that you can track the package? Uh, you got to go and ask postal services. Um, I have learned that it doesn't make no difference whether the package is delivered to me inside of the... Um, inside of the immigration center uh, whether I have received one through the bureau or whether I have picked one up at the local postal office or whether I will go and use the Pachkomat basically from Allegro special machines with the cameras it's everything is recorded um, I have learned that there is no that doesn't make any difference whatsoever because either way uh, packages arrived destroyed opened and destroyed prior to them being delivered to me um, obviously I'm not gonna go and ask uh, the business owners for what can I say for uh, reparations, for the money back? As much as I'm without the money, that would be completely unfair toward them. But I'd like police, as the police, uh, to be maybe fair toward me and get this thing investigated. Maybe they could do this kind of stuff. So uh, that I can use what is known as internet purchases and so that I can use what are known as postal services. Maybe you can do me a favor and actually help me out with it. Thank you very much. I hope I'm going to find that main video uh, about, about open packages because so far nothing I purchased from the internet works. Nothing. Nothing works. That's it. Okay, here's the history about hilarious package. Um, it's quite hilarious because you can see the timing. This is what yesterday I was told at the postal office. Actually, the lady tried to kind of provocate me, like mailman left with my package 
disregarding agreement between him and me that he's going to leave my packages strictly the postal office where I would from where I would pick them up for one thing I can tell you uh, once I appeared over there it took quite some time for me to get through uh, in line and be served on what I have reminded her of our agreement I was big time rejected everything you see here pretty much was disregarded basically it traveled eight days um, to get to this gersh and not even in my hands she suggested me actually I should just go and run after the mailman follow him to the center go wait in the center in the immigration center and wait for him to to deliver me a package it's crazy now you can see uh, a distance of this package of this microcard carta pamici card of smartness is how it's translated from polish uh it would really make me look stupid big time i would really come out dumb uh don't worry it's about 300 kilometers that's all there is to it uh and once this card of pamici carta pamici sd card the smart card micro sd card arrived um I would be really really stupid if I would do this because one did not even work or maybe I would not be so stupid because I would maybe prevent maybe mailman from giving this to someone at the center uh, so the card could be switched but I don't have the proof for that again other than for what I have stated here uh, funny is there was no tracking anytime um yes the card as well as the otg host cable were purchased on april the 12th uh, you can see right there um card right there april the 12th um and then what i got was this thing here now you can see what this is reality this isn't this isn't dream or something like this you can see that uh, this is what the situation was with it send on the 15 pick up today on the 24 yesterday they would not have this available at the postal office all right this is a pachkomat known as a pachkomat and this is where that package was taken from uh, obviously the video is from another day, but I just want to give you an impression what the Pachkomat is. Uh, to get the item, you actually have to get the number from your email, which means that somebody did access my email in particular. Uh, they accessed my email, uh, went to this place here, switched the merchandise, this is what I assume because I don't see no other explanation for that. I don't think that seller did something like that or through the seller was strange. He would not provide the tracing link and stuff like that. Uh, but still, um, I don't see other explanation than this one here. This is from Allegro, you see. So called Allegro Smart.